quick video on pulling motor out of uh, Subaru. This just happens to be SVX with an H6, but a lot of Subarus are plagued by the same problem, whereas the transmission will not separate from the engine. And I fought with this thing for like an hour last night and uh, had to go online and look at some information. So hopefully this helps somebody else and they don't have to mess with it quite as long as I did. But basically, um, steel studs halfway down. This particular transmission only has four main bolts to hold it in. One of the starter bolts, one on the opposite side on the passenger top, and then two on the bottom. And there's two main steel guide pins that basically um, dissimilar metals rust when in contact with each other so aluminum and steel don't like each other they corrode and it it seemed to me like it was so stuck together like I felt like the there's there must I must have been missing a bolt or something because it just would not separate I was prying at the very top and couldn't get more than like an maybe half a millimeter gap to open up at the top um, I started with just a regular putty knife at the top, tapped it in until I got an opening big enough for a screwdriver, and then I started tapping that in and kind of moving, you know, next to each other the whole time, till finally I got a gap big enough to fit my large persuader, and then I just barely touched it, and that side popped free, so I'm about to try the same thing with this side. Boo boo, my cat out there meowing. As you can see, this side is opened up pretty well. I'm pretty sure that that stud has finally given up. Get a light over here. Oh yeah. So you can see it right there. So right there is where the thing was just stuck in there, would not come out. Oh. All right, so we're gonna put it right about there. I'll get this light back over here so maybe you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> better. I would assume that this one was stuck just about as bad as anyone could possibly be stuck. Man, this is still stuck. Still doesn't want to give it up. Also worth mentioning, got to make sure that the lower engine mount bolts are raised and clear the cross member underneath there. Otherwise, obviously you can't pry it forward. Um, Man, this thing has been a fight the whole frickin' way. Oh yeah, this side's completely free.
Yeah, it looks like it might still have something going on over here. Oh, it's just that stud down at the bottom now. There we go. She just fell free. So, quick recap, putty knives, your best friend, then screwdrivers or pry bars, tap them in, keep moving them over to the edge until you can get them down in a decent gap to put a pry bar in, tap that in, and it was pretty much easy going after that. I uh, already disconnected all the coolant lines, all the Training cooler line, power steering lines. Pulled out the radiator, pulled out the fan, left the condenser. Didn't want to mess with that. I think we've got plenty of room there to get that out. Disconnected the wiring harnesses. Pretty sure we've got everything free and clear now. One heater line, all right. Okay, heater line's out. I think we can pretty much go up and out now. couple things I didn't think to disconnect right away that I luckily noticed before it was too late. This O2 sensor. Whatever the hell that was. Everything else disconnected. Nope. Power steering line's gonna need to come out. This should be the last thing I gotta mess with. And then it's free and clear. I guess while I'm doing this, I can talk to you a little bit about. I'm going to school right now. Automotive engineering, technology. It's programmed through Ferris State. And I take a bunch of automotive technology classes for it. I mean, I've always wrenched on my own cars. I've got a pretty good understanding of how to do things. Um, to 
day we had to work on this Jeep. It was a typical 2000 Jeep Cherokee. And uh, check engine light was on. O2 sensor problem. After some, I mean, it had a replacement engine in it from a, a California emissions engine. issues here. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. Everything's out. Some leaky valve covers on this thing. I'm pretty sure you can see where this is going. Uh, engine's out. We're going to move it over here, I think. There's a hole on the other side and set it down. Probably on one of these tires. It's been a busy winter in Michigan. Alright, see you later YouTube.